Hi, today's video is going to be all about how to schedule your pins using Tailwind. Tailwind is an important part of my business and helps me automate my Pinterest marketing strategy. If you want to learn how to set up your Tailwind account, I have a video for that that you can find below. Today's content is going to be all about how to schedule a week's worth of content in less than one hour. If you're interested in trying Tailwind, you can find my affiliate link below where you'll receive a free trial. And don't forget, if you need more help on your Pinterest marketing strategy, subscribe to my channel where you'll get my best tips and ideas for driving traffic and growing your business with Pinterest. Hi, so today we're going to be talking about easy ways to add pins to your Tailwind schedule in less than an hour each week. And to be honest, if you're super savvy, you can probably get this done in 30 minutes. So let's get started with some of the strategies that I use to schedule pins for my account. So the first thing I like to do is to go to my dashboard, which you just um, click on the house icon. And I like to look at my most repin boards, which is down here in the bottom right. Now, um, this is the place where the ideas on my account are trending. So for example, I'm getting lots of repins from my own personal board, finances for creative small businesses, and blogging resources. So this will be a place where I might think about um, what types of pins I'm going to work on that week because they might get a lot of traffic. So hold on to that hold on to that thought about most repin boards when we come back to um, one of my favorite strategies for filling your Tailwind queue. The second place I like to look is tribes. I've done a whole separate video on tribes and I'll leave the link to that below, but this is a great place to find niche related content really quickly. So um, one of my favorite things to do in tribes is to find pins that I can pin to more than one board. So if I'm pinning 15 pins a day, which is what I recommend when you're starting out and you don't have a lot of evergreen content or even personal content from your own website to pin, um, you basically can take one pin and put it to two or schedule it to two different boards and turn that into two pins. So um, let's look at this one right here. So for example, I might put this under blogging resources and social media tools. And I'm gonna add that to my queue down here. So I've actually already filled in two queues. So SEO demystified, I might put into blogging resources, um, let's find another one down here that I can use. Um, let's see, business, online business tools. So I might put that into blogging resources and um, social media tools. So you can already see how just going through your tribes, you can easily fill your queue. So I actually belong to many tribes and maybe you only belong to um, three or Four, but still you could easily fill your queue with these tribes and that's what I love about them because typically they're niche related so a lot of them are going to be really applicable content for your target audience. So another way that um, I fill my queue is to add my own evergreen content. Now I mentioned this before but evergreen content is content that you've already um, scheduled and published, but you um, don't want it to just um, go dead. You want this information or this content to continually be going out. So what I like to do is um, go to my personal board, which you should have on Pinterest, and click on my blue flame up here, which you can find the um, extension for your browser on Tailwind on the scheduling page. But if you um, are unsure about that, I have a whole video on actually how to set up your Tailwind account. So you can find the link to that below. But these are all my own personal pins. So I wanna make sure that these are going out on a regular basis, maybe once a month to different boards. So I would click on my pins and schedule them out. Now I've actually already done this on my account, but. I'll just show you how easily um, I could fill my queue with this. So for example, I might add Pinterest, um, add these to my Pinterest boards because usually most of my um, most of my content is based on Pinterest. So that's another um, quick and easy tool for filling your, um, your queue. And I'm gonna X out of that. It's also really important to get your content out there so that um, these um, schedule posts are staying active. 
Now, another idea that would work for you, especially if you work in food or decorating or seasonal content, is to just go to the search bar and click the space. And when you do that, you'll see this um, bar here that says trending ideas. And so these are things that are really popular in Pinterest right now. So you might wanna take time if you are a home decor blogger to pin bathroom ideas, or maybe you work with food to, to um, click on this and pin buffalo chicken dip or whatever. Right now, actually none of these concepts fit my target audience, but I'm guessing that for a lot of you, they will. So this is a really great place to find content to pin. Now, this next part is my absolute favorite part um, and way to fill my Tailwind queue quickly. And it, it's what I call batch scheduling. I don't know if I came up with that, but um, that's what I like to call it. So what I wanna do is take a couple ideas and let's revisit um, some of the things that we saw in our repin boards. We saw finances for creatives, we saw um, passive income and affiliates. Revisit what trending boards you have because those are the type of content that your target audience is really relating with. So today I'm gonna pin um, and schedule a bunch of stock photography books. So I'm gonna go to stock photography and as you can see, there's lots of beautiful vertical content. You want pins that have beautiful images that have good keywords, which you can find in the description here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blue flame and I'm gonna choose, let's say 10, or let's just go through and choose um, content to schedule. So my top favorites, um, I might choose 30 images. This one here, here, let me just choose a bunch more. Okay. So I've got seven images scheduled right now, and let's click on Go Schedule. So these are all gonna show up, and here is just a really handy trick. So I can go up to the space called Add Board to All, and I'm gonna put them in the stock photography um, board, and they all fill in to the stock photography board. And so this is a really great way to get what I think I pinned seven, yes, yeah, seven images into your boards. Now here's another really handy trick. Let's say the you had two boards that could relate to stock photography. Maybe you have stock photography and maybe you have creating Pinterest images because you often need um, beautiful stock photography to create pretty pin, um, Pinterest images. So you can see that I took these seven pins and actually created 14 pins that are going to go to my Tailwind schedule. So you can um, even go through ones individually and add them to particular boards. Say you had a stock photography board and you also had feminine stock photography. Um, if you sell stock photography, you might have several types of stock photography boards. So you could go through and individually add those items under here. And you can easily see how seven pins turned into 14 pins. So you would click on schedule all. Great. So um, let's go back to one of those trending ideas, which is finances for creatives. Let's see what we can come up with here. So great. So I'm going to scroll down and let's choose some to schedule. I might have actually pinned some of these, which is another handy thing to show you. But um, okay, so let's choose this one and business plan and um, small biz finances and um, organize your finances. So let's let's choose those for now and click on go schedule. So we have eight images and I can add these to my finance for creative small businesses boards. Also, oh, I do want to point something out. If you see a box that says enter a source URL, just go ahead and delete those. They don't actually um, show up and lead you to a website. So go ahead and delete this. So I might actually be able to add these to another board. How about, um, I have a board called Creative Entrepreneur Tips. So I've taken four pins and turned them into eight pins because I've added them to two separate boards. Um, I'm gonna come down here actually and change the keyword. So small business bookkeeping or So I've actually um, can just click on schedule all and you can do this with 
as many categories as you like, and you can see how this is going to make things really simple for you. So we're going to go back to um, publish and scheduled pins on your Tailwind dashboard. Great. And so we're going to come down here and look at the pins that I just pinned. So what you're going to see is, um, a lot of duplicates because I scheduled this pin, for example, from the finances for creative small businesses to two different boards, but I don't want to have just a bunch of duplicates in a row. It just doesn't look nice on my pinning schedule and it actually looks kind of fabricated and we want our pinning schedule to look really organic. So these are all the pins that we added to multiple boards. So the best way to kind of create organic look and flow to your Pinterest schedule is to click shuffle all. So the important thing to remember, if you're going to batch schedule, just make sure that you schedule your queue. So what happened was those pins were actually just moved around and they're no longer right on top of each other. So, um, you know, I see this pin here and oh, it might be way up here. Oh, there it is. So you can see how they're moved apart and they're going to go to separate boards, but they're moved apart and just create some um, organic look to the schedule. I recommend shuffling all the time just to kind of keep the flow looking um, unique and not computerized. So this is my favorite tip for scheduling your content quickly in less than 30 minutes. This video has only been a few minutes long. And as you can see, I have over 25 to 30 pins that I've created in just a short amount of time that um, I've given you this tutorial. I love Pinterest and I use it every single day for my clients. If you have any questions or you're interested in a free trial, I have an affiliate link below. Don't forget, if you're new to Pinterest and you need help setting up, I have a video on that. And if you're interested in learning more about Tailwind Tribes, I also have a tutorial um, explaining why this is a really cool feature of Tailwind. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for joining me today.